Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little something different. We are going to be going thrifting at a local antique mall that is by my house. So I do resell on the side. So I do a lot of things. I don't just do gardening. But since we're getting into the winter months, I was wanting to do some thrifting videos. Teapots are my absolute favorite things to find. This is a metal teapot, hand painted. The whole thing is painted even on the underneath. Love it. And it's only $6. So I am going to be having to totally cut the music out of this store because they were blaring country music really loud and I don't want to get a copyright strike. I really like supporting local businesses because I know it's helping out other resellers who go and find the stuff and then put it in their booths. Okay, so I am here with, I do have three kids, so they are with me today, and my mom's here to help out too, so just in case I wanted to look at something and she could help keep an eye. And I almost dropped that, that's why I was a little bit shaky, so I put it back down, but I did end up putting that in my cart. And I'll definitely be coming back to this place because there's so many booths to look at. I just feel like I couldn't look at everything today because there was so much. Which I love a good antique mall with a lot of things in it. And this is a decanter set, which is really good price. It was $39. Not bad at all. I just don't want to ship that. This is one of my favorite booths. They have all the antique stuff down here. So all of the silver plated items. Absolutely love this booth. And I might come back and get this one because I keep thinking about it. And it was $4. I might come back. And then in some of the spots, I did have um, a lot of people behind us, so I had to, like, scoot out of the way, and I couldn't look at everything I wanted to. I just try to be courteous, especially when I've got three kids with me, and that's a bigger group. And I was going to get this little salt and pepper shaker right there, but it said it was sold as a set, and he didn't have the pepper shaker, just the salt. So I put him in my cart, and then I didn't end up getting him. Even though he's really freaking cute. And I love salt and pepper shakers. I love teapot, salt and pepper shakers. Absolutely favorite. Who knows, I might come back and get them if they can find the other piece. And here's a little fairy light. I've never seen one out in the wild before. I've only seen them online and this one was $5. It does have a lot of wear so the paint is coming off of the design right there but I think it's fine. And I'm putting it up here to make sure there's no chips or any damage. I'm being very careful I'm not hurting anybody else's stuff. And then if I don't want something I always put it back where I found it. I do end up getting that though. I put it in my buggy. Do you guys say buggy where you're from? I know I get a lot of flack from that. Um, I'm from Texas, but I live out in Kansas now in the Midwest, and I still call it buggy, and everybody else calls it a cart. And I get a lot of stares every time I say buggy. I 
I also like going to antique stores not just for resale but for gifts and Christmas time because you know that's going to be coming up sooner than we think. I know we will be celebrating Halloween first but you still got to be on the back of your mind that Christmas is going to happen too. So I support local businesses. I support other resellers by going to an antique store. And again, my weakness is the teapots. And this one is a silver plated teapot. They've got it for 69. And this looks like it went to a fairy light. I'm not sure. It's the top only, so I'm assuming it had to do with something like that. And the top was in good condition. And I feel like whenever you go shopping, you look at things that you would like too. But I have to remember that I have to shop for other people not just myself so I love milk glass I love the silver plated stuff so I really really I'm thinking about going in back and getting this it's a brass Jerusalem I think it's a napkin holder I could be wrong I'm not quite sure and it's three dollars and it doesn't look like anything's wrong with it I might go back And this I thought was going to be heavier than it was and it was really light so I put it right back. So you can normally tell when something's really um, older or vintage when the weight to it. So again I'm picking back this up because I really liked it but I don't get it. And there's a little happy turtle on the little shelf. I really liked this chicken. It's a pitcher, like a water pitcher, or you could use it as a vase, but it was a modern piece and it still had the original tag, probably from like a home goods or, you know, at home store. So this is a little salt glaze pitcher. No chips or damage, and it was six dollars, so definitely pick that up. This is a little terracotta trinket dish, $1.50. It doesn't look like there's any damage to it, so I will be picking that up. My cart's full. But some of the stuff is my mom's and not just mine. So I've never seen one of these beds where they fold and go into the wall. I think they're called like Murphy beds. And I just love this chicken pitcher. I think it's homemade. It's really pretty. Handmade, not homemade. And this was a gorgeous painting too. And it was like on a canvas, not on paper. So this is a, I think croquet or cricket. It could be wrong. Or it's croquet, croquet. And it was $20 for that set. Kind of made me want to get it for me and my kids <laughs> again I might come back I'll definitely come back but I love this chicken set too so I like to go here every once in a while so I might go back next week because I kind of want to go back and get this I did not get it it's a double spoon rest and it's chicken and I didn't see any chips or damage to it Here's a ceramic duck. I thought it was going to be full ceramic, but it ended up being um, empty or hollow on the underneath, so I put that back. I 
I like the way um, antique models smell. I know that sounds weird, but I like that smell. Now I'm trying to convince my kids to follow with me. They wanted to play with that little piano over there. This area had a bunch of stuff on the shelves, some vintage dolls. Now, I don't know about you, but me personally, I do not do vintage dolls. They kind of creep, well, they don't kind of, they creep me out. And I feel like if I touch them, they'll like bring some spirit back. I don't know. It's weird. And I don't mess with the dolls. Okay, so I found this. It's a, a light viewer, so you would put the light in it and you'd be able to see your little slides where they have like one single picture in it. And it was $4 and I was like, that's a really good deal. I can take it. I love finding stuff like that, vintage cameras, vintage anything like that. And it had the manual in it in the original box. That camel is pretty cute. That was carnival glass. Never seen that one before. I've seen red, but not of that. And it even had like a words written on it. I like this little booth. It's like all green and yellow. Really cute. I like it when um, people put their own little design into their booth. So if they're going to sell something all green or yellow, I, I really like that. Or if they do like an all wood section. And I have a tiny teapot that looks just like this. Now I'm going to move this because I really want to see what's back here. It looks like it might have been a decanter or a perfume bottle or something like that because there is no lid, but I'm assuming that's what it was. It was three dollars. It looks like it was hand painted. And that back there was a jar of beads. And I really, really liked the swan vase. It was really pretty. It was $30. It wasn't too bad. Again, if it's still there, I might come back and get it. I like to do that if I really like something. If it's still there, then I'll pick it up. Or if I have a regret, then definitely. I really like this. I grabbed this and touched this like multiple times. I really like this. It's really lightweight though, so I feel like it's easy to break. And I'm looking over, see if there's any chips. I'm trying to make a decision if I'm going to buy it. And I go back and look at it again. I'm looking over and there are some chips, so I do end up putting it back. I, I don't buy it. And these are Rolls Royce radios $25 a piece they're really heavy though and I don't know if they work or if somebody just wants them if somebody would actually buy them and just keep them even if they don't work so I don't know and my two-year-old was obsessed with this little troll doll she wanted it so bad she kept calling it her baby <laughs> And then the next video I put out is what I bought. So look out for that. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.